New scientific studies have proved that exercise is another major way to stay young. As you age, your body naturally becomes more frail. Exercise counteracts this by building up muscle. But recent research into which exercise is best at making us stronger as we age has come up with some surprising results. Scientists here at Magdeburg University want to discover which of two physical activities is more effective at keeping frailty at bay. Seite, oben, Seite, oben. Eins, zwei, drei, kick. Eins, zwei, drei, kick. What they came up with was a program that involves comparing the kind of things that you do in a gym with something which is right up my street, and that's dancing. So while 20 elderly Germans danced three times a week, another group trained for exactly the same amount of time in the gym, doing activities like riding exercise bikes. Both groups signed up for the long haul, three hours a week, for six months. But which activity was best at tackling aging? It was obviously important to get an accurate assessment of the benefits of a, a dance class over a conventional fitness regime. And so the team came up with a really clever wheeze. Both groups have to exercise to the same music. That way, they were able to keep the level of exertion roughly equal. So when it came to strengthening the muscles, which of the two sets of exercise was better, gym or dancing? After six months, the results were clear. On average, the gym group had little difference, while the dancers had a 15% improvement. But why did dancing make the muscles stronger compared to those working out in the gym? Exercise done in a gym is very repetitive. You train one muscle or just a group of muscles. If instead you do dancing, it stimulates many more systems. Your brain, your muscles, your tendons, your ligaments. Uh, so it's much more holistic as a form of exercise, much more comprehensive. All logical enough. But Marco made another unexpected discovery. Each muscle fiber, here in red, is controlled by a nerve. They're shown in green. There's a crucial junction which connects them. Dancing requires more input from nerves and so strengthens these junctions and therefore the muscles. So dancing facilitates the crosstalk between the muscle and the nerve and that's the key. So really we should all just keep dancing? Yes, we should. Yes. The gym group did improve, but dancing is the better exercise because as well as being aerobic, it requires flexibility and balance. And if this group of dancers is anything to go by, well, they can't get enough of it because the study actually finished after six months. But um, they were so upset that uh, they came back. That was a year ago. And look at them, they're still dancing. <laughs> so as we get older, we shouldn't take the foot off the gas. In fact, if anything, we should be more active from our 30s onwards. And dancing is one of the best exercises we can do to help us stay young.